From all of us at Kitsap Mental Health Services, welcome to the Pendleton Place Groundbreaking. Pendleton Place didn't happen overnight. In fact, it was identified as a key strategy in the Kitsap County Homeless Housing Plan that was developed with input across this community, including social service providers, local citizens and businesses, and our elected officials. And those of us who've been working to address the needs of people experiencing homelessness have long understood what Kitsap really needed to change the trajectory of chronic homelessness once and for all. What we needed was permanent supported housing. What we needed was Pendleton Place. In 2018, the Board of Kitsap Mental Health Services voted to be the project sponsor for Pendleton Place because they knew that people can and do recover from mental illness and substance use disorders. They knew this because we see it happen every single day. They also understood that a critical part of success in treatment is someone's housing stability. And at Pendleton Place, we'll accept people as they are and where they are. We'll invite them into housing first and then with housing comes the stability they'll need to engage with our 24 seven onsite staff in a wide array of services, all designed to promote a resident's long-term stability and recovery. In 2016, Lloyd Pendleton, the first director of Utah's Homeless Task Force, spoke at the Suquamish Longhouse in Kitsap County at our Housing First Summit. Since he was able to reduce the chronic homeless population in Utah by 91%, he became the mentor for other states to address their homeless problem. His harm reduction models focused on minimizing the negative consequences associated with substance use by negotiating with individuals rather than making a judgment stance. We must treat people with dignity and respect and give them a voice. Provide case managers to offer a range of support services to help them adjust. Our new Kitsap Mental Health Services project is named Pendleton Place after Lloyd S. Pendleton, who died March of 2019. And I believe the future of our client success will be achieved because of all the organizations and partners that have contributed to this wonderful project. As president of the Kitsap Mental Health Services Board of Directors, I'm excited to see this five-year-old plan come to fruition. When people with behavioral health or addiction issues are living outside in a tent or a car, their primary concern isn't taking their medications or making that next appointment. Instead, their focus is, where will I eat? Where will I sleep? Am I safe? As Lloyd Pendleton said, People need housing to achieve sobriety and stability, not the other way around. Permanent supportive housing is economical. Research found that people in supportive housing cost the system way less than leaving them homeless out on the streets. Many of our poor citizens are both homeless and victims. First, with the stigma of being poor and homeless, and then by certain criminal elements who prey on the homeless. Pendleton Place will provide a place where many of these folks will be able to live with dignity in a safe and nurturing environment. And my hope is there will be more to come. We have people that have addictions, health, and mental problems that need a place to get a fresh start. A place that is secure and has the facilities to handle and support their needs. They also need to feel as though they are part of the community and not ostracized. Pendleton Place will also add to the upgrading of the neighborhood. The facility will have the appeal and atmosphere of a campus. It'll be a tremendous asset to the community as well as the peninsula. I think the best aspect of Pendleton Place is the fact that it offers supportive services. Those with mental health and substance use issues don't necessarily have the skills to navigate through sometimes difficult daily challenges. And for them, this can be life-changing. Permanent supported housing is an evidence-based housing model proven time and again across this country to help end the repeated and extended cycles of homelessness while at the same time reduce engagement with law enforcement, reduce 
episodes of incarceration reduce healthcare costs and hospitalization and inpatient stays. It benefits not just the person who's housed, it benefits everyone in this community. Those of us in law enforcement uh, are very involved in the conversation about changes in the criminal justice system to reduce uh, people interacting with the criminal justice system and keeping them out of the incarceration system as well. And we talk about behavioral health response, better mental health treatment for those who are untreated. Housing is a huge piece of this so that people can get back on their feet and stay out of jail and get back on track. Pendleton Place is exactly what we're talking about as people say they want change, they expect change. This is what that change looks like. The planning for Pendleton Place began in earnest in 2016 with the creation of a permanent supported housing task force, which was a subcommittee of the Kitsap Housing and Homeless Coalition. The group was led by Kitsap County Division of Human Services and multiple housing providers met, including the Bremerton Housing Authority and Housing Kitsap and Kitsap Community Resources and Kitsap Mental Health Services, among others. And we met to work together to create a plan and a vision to bring an important project like Pendleton Place to Kitsap County. It was in about 2015 that a group of community members came together to talk about the desperate need for housing for people who needed some extra supports in order to be able to stay stably housed. And since that time, a lot of different people have pitched in and really carried the torch of this project in all kinds of different ways. And now standing here on the cusp of this dream, this vision becoming a reality, it feels like a remarkable testament to the commitment of our community to help people who need stable housing. With the help and guidance of our nonprofit housing developer partner community frameworks, we searched across the city of Bremerton to identify a viable location for Pendleton Place. And once a site had been identified, we approached the Bremerton Housing Authority and their board of commissioners requesting their financial support, which came through in the form of a $3.1 million capital investment which enabled us to leverage all the additional funding that was necessary to move the project forward. They also committed to 61 project-based vouchers that are critical to ensuring that the units remain affordable for years and decades to come. The Bremerton Housing Authority, along with many local agencies, recognized the need for supportive housing in Kitsap County. When the opportunity came up to partner with Kitsap Mental Health Services, the BHA Board of Commissioners unanimously agreed that Pendleton Place was the most appropriate project to commit the remaining funds left over from the redevelopment of West Park. BHA could not be more excited about a project, and we are so incredibly proud of Kitsap Mental Health Services and all the hard work they have put forth making this dream come true, because it truly is a dream come true. Kitsap Mental Health Services was fortunate to contract with SMR Architects, a leading architectural firm in the region that specializes in the design of permanent supported housing. Once plans were completed, we worked closely with the City of Bremerton and the Planning and Building Departments to finalize the design details and secure all the necessary permits so construction could get underway. As Mayor of Bremerton, Pendleton Place has been a priority for me and the city. We rallied our staff and resources to make sure the project could find a location and get done in the city of Bremerton. We've seen how our vulnerable population has struggled with mental illness and addiction, making it difficult to maintain permanent housing and long-term stability. Pendleton Place will assist with stable housing and offer on-site services to aid in recovery. This housing development is a start in breaking the cycle of chronic homelessness and will provide long-term benefits to our vulnerable citizens and our community. I'm extremely proud we could partner with Kitsap Mental Health and the Bremen and the Housing Authority on the project. 
We selected the BJC Group as our general contractor because we knew they were a local firm, familiar with local subcontractors, but most of all, we knew they could get the job done and they are a firm with the utmost integrity. Site development work began at the end of September of 2020 and construction began in earnest in January of 2021. We expect construction to be completed in early 22, and once we have the certificate of occupancy, we'll begin the process of moving 72 residents into their new and permanent homes. Hello, we are the general contractor for the Pendleton Place project. The project is scheduled to be completed at the end of February 2022. We're excited about this great community project and appreciate being able to work with Kitsap Mental Health Services on another wonderful project. Pendleton Place is important to this community and it's important to the people who one day will find their housing there. After all, a healthy community is one in which each of our residents has an opportunity to thrive. And that is what Pendleton Place offers, an opportunity for 72 people who right now may be experiencing chronic homelessness, who right now may be living with untreated mental illness and substance use disorders, living in shelters or outdoors or in places not meant for habitation. The people I work with um, in the HARPS program as a peer support specialist come to me to obtain housing and to um, resolve their homelessness. And with um, Pendleton Place, these homeless people, they're, when they're, if they're housed there, they're going to have a bunch of hope. Um, they're going to have a place to call home. And I don't care who you are, where you're from, you deserve to have a place to call home. And also, it's going to eliminate their, uh, their worries about um, you know, where they're going to stay tonight, next week, where they're going to put their belongings. And I can understand that because I have been homeless myself, except the place that I was homeless at, they didn't have a place like what the Pendleton Place is going to be like. So the Pendleton Place here in Bremerton, Washington, Kitsap County uh, is very much needed in our community, and we're really all looking forward to it. It's going to make a difference.